three days ago, YouTube announced that they would be censoring new content on YouTube. They're saying that any information that is obtained illegally regarding the 2020 election will be banned from being discussed on YouTube because they're afraid of foreign interference inside the elections. That's right, once again, YouTube is telling us what we are and are not allowed to discuss. To be more specific, YouTube said it would be removing content that contains hacked information, the disclosure of which may interfere with democratic processes, such as elections and censuses. For example, a video that contained hacked information about a political candidate shared with the intent to interfere in an election. This means that any important information about criminal doings of a presidential candidate or released by WikiLeaks or any such organization will not be allowed. In the last few years, leaked information from the military, NSA, and the 2016 Clinton campaign have revealed major crimes against the public and violations of democracy. Some of the most important information of the last decade has come from whistleblowers, the criminalization of Edward Snowden, Chelsea Manning, and Julian Assange. This means that YouTube's new rules are a direct assault upon freedom of the independent press to report on government and corporate malfeasance. However, YouTube does state that in the future, if any such events were to take place, we would not be left without any information whatsoever. There would be approved channels that could talk about the situation. The companies also announced in the same post that they will be allowing certain authoritative voices to speak on any incidents. Additionally, we are continuing to raise up authoritative voices and reduce the spread of harmful misinformation and borderline content, including for election-related news and information. One of the many ways we do this is through our information panels which provide further context underneath videos and in search results so that you can make your own informed decisions. Who are these authoritative voices? Fox News and CNN. In other words, only bourgeois-approved opinions will be allowed to speak on the matter. By doing so, they'll be able to control the narrative and information that gets to the public. The most famous example is the 2016 Clinton campaign leaks coverage that refused to acknowledge that the inside information about the sabotage of Bernie Sanders was leaked from the inside, not hacked by Russia as it was claimed. Now, one of the fears that independent journalists and investigative journalists like uh, the Gray Zone, etc., are concerned about is that existing information that has come about as a result of hacks or leaks may also be censored. That means things that are already up, that we already know about, that have already been broadcast, will end up being removed as well. Another fear the citizens slash investigative journalists have is that any government or corporate entity can merely claim that information was hacked when it was not, which has already happened. Because of this, any discussion of an issue will be outright banned by YouTube. This represents a very clear threat to freedom of speech and freedom of the press. As this change looms, a real threat to the election goes unchecked. That would be the systematic dismantling of the U.S. Post Office to interfere with mail-in ballots. Trump appointed top Republican donor Louis DeJoy to the position of Postmaster General. He's removing mailboxes and dismantling sorting machines. It seems the bourgeoisie is more concerned with trying to prevent actual discussion of events and wrongdoings that have been exposed than defending the actual democratic process itself. But since the bourgeoisie remain in power, regardless of whether you vote Democrat or Republican, we can certainly see why it doesn't take such a priority. It is more important to actually control the information that would influence how people vote than the actual ability for them to vote to begin with. And that speaks very much to how bourgeois democracy proceeds. Reporting from Niagara Falls, Jason Unruh, MRN. Thank you for watching. If you like this program, then please head over to my Patreon page and set up a monthly donation. It's your donations that keep this program running. Also, if you would like, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share in various social media.